Kargil is a district of Ladakh region in the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir. Kargil lies near the line of control facing Pakistani-administered Gilgit-Baltistan to the west, and the mostly Indian-administered Kashmir Valley to the south. Zanskar is part of Kargil district along with Suru, Waker and Dras valleys. Pakistan attempted to recapture this territory in 1999 and lost this battle. Kargil was organized as a separate district in 1979. As of 2011, update, it is the least populous district of the 22 districts in Jammu and Kashmir. Geography Kargil district is nestled in the Himalayas, giving it a cool, temperate climate. Summers are warm with cool nights while winters are long and cold with temperatures often dropping to minus 40 degrees Celsius with recorded temperatures of minus 60 degrees Celsius in the tiny town of Dras, situated some 56 kilometers from the Kargil town. The Zanska Plateau is even colder, making it thus a near-uninhabitable place for humans, except for the hardy Kampus. The entire Kargil district is spread over 14,086 square kilometers. The Suru River flows through the district. National Highway 1D, connecting Srinagar to Leh, cuts through Kargil. This highway is typically open for traffic only from June to mid-November due to heavy snowfall at the Zojila, but in recent years it has been opened before June. Kargil is located 204 kilometers from the capital city of Srinagar. There is a partially paved road, the first 40 kilometers or so, leading from Kargil south to Zanska. Total distance to Zanska is nearly 220 kilometers, which is again open only from June to September. The region has recently been opening to tourists with steps of travel hub by the central government. Recently, both India and Pakistan have considered linking the Pakistani town of Skardu to Kargil via a bus route to facilitate free movement of Kashmiris in the area. Demographics According to the 2011 census Kargil district has a population of 143,388. This gives it a ranking of 603rd in India. The district has a population density of 10 inhabitants per square kilometer. Its population growth rate over the decade 2001 to 2011 was 20.18%. Kargil has a sex ratio of 775 females per every 1,000 males, and a literacy rate of 74.49%. Of total population, 80% are Muslim, of which 73% follow Shi'i Islam. Most of the district's Muslims are found in the north. Of the remainder, 15% of the total population practice Tibetan Buddhism and Bon. Mostly found in Zanska with small populations in the upper Suru Valley and around Shergol in Malbuk. Another 5% of the native population follow Hinduism and Sikhism. Much of Kargil population is inhabited by the Burig and Balti people of Tibetan origin and have intermingled with the Dard. Mon and other Aryan people. The mainly Muslim Dards inhabit the Valley of Dras and speak Sheena. A small number of Buddhist Dard, known as Broke Pa, inhabit the Dha Hanu region near the Lamiru Monastery. Some Argans and Sheena are also settled in Kargil town. Languages the Puric language is being spoken by about 78% population of Kargil while 10% speak Dard group of languages and about 3% speak Balti language. Balti is a dialect of Tibetan and is spoken by the inhabitants of Askardu and Turtuk in the Nubra Valley of Leh district. The Buddhists of Zanska speak Bosha or Ladakhi language. The Kashmiri language is also spoken by about 50% of the inhabitants of the village Malayan, which lies near the entrance to Kargil district. After crossing the Zojila Pass, however, in Dras, we find most of the people there speaking three languages, firstly Purik and Sheena, which are the regional languages and then Kashmiri culture. Though earlier Tibetan contact has left a profound influence upon the people of both Kargil and Leh. 
After the spread of Shi Islam the people of Kargil came under heavy influence of Persian culture. This is apparent by the rigorous use of Persian words and phrases in the popular religious as well as other songs called Marcius and Kashidis. At least until recently, some Kargilis, especially those of the Aga family's descendants of Sayyid preachers who were in a direct line descent from the Islamic prophet, Muhammad, were sent to Iraq for their education. Native Ladakhs go for higher Islamic studies in seminaryish in Najaf, Iraq and Om, Iran. These non-AGAH scholars are popularly called as Shi'aikh. Some among the most prominent religious scholars include Imam E. Juma, Sheikh Musa Sharifa, Sheikh Ahmed Mohammadi, Sheikh Hussain Zakiri, and Sheikh Anwar. Social ceremonies such as marriages still carry many customs and rituals which are common to both the Muslims and Buddhists. Among the two districts of Ladik, Kargil has a more mixed ethnic population and thus there are more regional dialects spoken in Kargil as compared to Lay. Local folk songs which are called Rgy Eglu and Balti Ghazals are still quite popular and are performed enthusiastically at social gatherings. The JMK Tourism Ministry annually organizes festivals in which various programs are organized to highlight the culture so as to boost the tourism industry in the district. However, the tourism industry is still undeveloped despite attractive natural as well as rich cultural resources due to bad infrastructure and severe accommodation problems. History The name Kargil is said to be derived from the words Kar and Rkil. Kar means castle and Rkil means center thus a place between castles as the place lay between many kingdoms. The competing theory is that Kargil has been derived from the words Gar and Kil. Gar in local language mean anywhere, and Kil means a central place where people could stay. Earlier it was called Purug. A major study of the history of Purug is included in the book Kadim Ladakh by Kacho Sikandar Khan which includes genealogy of various dynasties that ruled the region. Kargil remained relatively obscure right until the partition of India when the issue of Kashmir became the focal point and resulted in the Indo-Pakistani War of 1947. There were pitched battles fought around Kargil which saw the entire area including Dras and Zoji La Pass initially coming under Pakistan control, before most of it being reclaimed by Indian troops by November 1948. It remained with India after the ceasefire. It again saw some action in the Second Kashmir War with India managing to wrest back the remainder of the Kargil area twice. The first capture was on May 17, 1965, when skirmishes broke out in Ran of Kutch, and India retaliated in the Kashmir sector. However, this had to be returned as per UNMOGIP treatise. On August 15, the same year Kargil fell to Indian forces, though it was once again returned as part of the Tashkent Agreement. However, in the Indo-Pakistani War of 1971 the entire Kargil region including key posts was captured by Indian troops under leadership of Karl Chewang Rinchen. In order to straighten out the line of control in the area, the Indian Army launched night attacks when the ground temperatures sank to below minus 17 degrees Celsius and about 15 enemy posts located at height of 16,000 feet, and more were captured. After Pakistan forces lost the war and agreed to the Shimla Agreement, Kargil and other strategic areas nearby remained with India. Kargil became a separate district in the Ladakh region during the year 1979 when it was bifurcated from the Leh district. The area shot into the spotlight in spring of 1999, when under a cover plan hatched by the then Army Chief Pervez Musharraf, armed infiltrators from Pakistan, aided by the Pakistani Army, occupied vacant high posts belonging to India in the Kargil and Dras regions. The result was a limited-scale conflict between both nuclear-equipped nations that ended with India regaining the Kargil region through military, power and diplomatic pressure. Climate The climate is cold and temperate. The average annual temperature in Kargil is 8.6 degrees Celsius. 
About 318 mm of precipitation falls annually. The driest month is November with 6 mm. Most precipitation falls in March, with an average of 82 mm. The warmest month of the year is July with an average temperature of 23.3 degrees Celsius. In January, the average temperature is minus 8.8 .8 degrees Celsius. It is the lowest average temperature of the whole year. The difference in precipitation between the driest month and the wettest month is 76 mm. The average temperatures vary during the year by 32.1 degrees Celsius. Wildlife Cargill is home to many endangered wildlife species like snow leopard, Tibetan wolf, Himalayan brown bear, Asiatic ibex, Ladak uriel, musk deer, pikas, marmots and hares. Aishwarya Maheshwari of the World Wildlife Fund is quoted as saying, It is here in Kargil that one of world's most elusive creatures, the snow leopard, roams wild and free. During my research I have learnt about the tremendous decline in wildlife sightings since the 1999 Kargil War. So much so that even the common resident birds had disappeared. Besides these endangered form of life various species of birds including the black-necked magpie, house sparrow, hoopo, rosa finches, red-billed chuffs, eastern chiffchaff, common sandpiper and European gold finches are a common sight in the summer. The Indian Army rears horses, donkeys and mares for transportation purposes. Administration Kargil District consists of nine blocks, Tras, Kargil, Shargola, Sharkachiktan, Gund Mangalpur Trasbone, Sanku, Taishuru, Zanska, Lungyuk. Each block consists of a number of panchayats. Politics Kargil District has two assembly constituencies, Zanska and Kargil. The member of parliament from Ladakh region Haji Ghulam Hassan Khan is from Kargil. Major political parties in the region include National Conference, Congress, PDP, BJP, LUTF and the erstwhile Kargil Alliance. Muhammad Sadiq Sheikh is the current District Development Commissioner Kargil. He also acts as the CEO LAHDC Kargil. Ladakh Autonomous Hill Council Ladakh Autonomous Hill Development Council Kargil, set up in the year 2003, is a locally elected body. It consists of 30 councillors. 26 of whom are elected from the respective constituencies while four are nominated from the principal minority and women folk. The council is headed by the chief executive councillor and has four other executive councillors. The chief executive councillor possess the rank and powers of a cabinet minister while the executive councillors possess the rank and status of deputy minister. The third general election of LAHDCK was held on the August 22, 2013. Overall voter turnout was 79.65%. The election resulted in a hung house at first with the two major parties, Indian National Congress and National Conference, along with their allies the IKMT and the Islamia School Kargil respectively managing to secure 11 seats each. However, after the deliberations of the State Coordination Committee, the Inc. was declared to head the new council. Haji Asghar Ali Karbali took oath as the new Chief Executive Councillor, LAHDC Kargil on 15 September 2013 thus replacing Kacho Ahmed Ali Khan who headed the previous council.